giant Omar Mossad now has seven game balls and there it is, closes out very comfortably. That's a great shot. Good movement from such a big man though, wasn't it, into that front corner to, to sort of mop it up and neutralise the attack slightly. It was, but look at the hold here from Abuelga. See exactly what it means to Abu Ghaz. He establishes that two point lead to 9 7. Again, it's the forehand side. There. Brilliant stuff from Abu Ghaz. Nice response. Well, there you go. Thank you very much. No, that's good strength. What a nice attack, isn't it, on that hammer of Thor. Attacking it in well from Omar Mossad. <laughs> nice way to finish with the perfect lob into the back of the court. And it's Omar Mossad who secures his place in the second round. <laughs> that was a rather patronising rub of the head there for Mossad, but good respect from his fellow countrymen. Well, 66 minutes for this match. Bit of a long break. 3-1 for Omar Mossad. And we'll see the 60, 66 minutes for that match, but of course a long break. 21 winners for Omar Mossad, only four errors. That is pretty good, isn't it? Well, it is when you look at that compared to Abu Elga, 14 winners, it started off promising, but then 12 unforced errors. Far too many at this level. Promising signs from the young Egyptian, but a bridge too far. That's a great squeeze again from Selby. Oh, he deserved it. And listen to the crowd there, the reaction of the crowd says it all. Well-constructed rally off. there from Daryl Selby. Selby. Two These two do have the ability, James, to bring out the best available. of each other at the times. And with that, Matthew now gives himself a second game ball. Just wasn't Hello. wide enough. Wow. It's a great finish there from Nick Matthew. All important first game. We'll be very relieved to get that. Trying to get behind the underdog. They do love an underdog here in the States. If you get that width wrong, you're going to be in so much trouble. So he's responded very, very well, but he'll know he got it wrong in that rally. He'll have to address that. If you do that too often, too you will get yourself into trouble. Nick Matthews quite lethal on a poor width. Well, that is a gut-wrenching backhand volley boast. More topspin. I can't believe it. I've <laughs> never seen so much in a match. Well, there he is, pouncing onto that slightly loose counter drop from Daryl Selby. Matthew six extends four. his lead to 6 4. Three game balls for Selby to take this into a fourth. Down. Yeah, he's done it. Game to Selby. Well, Daryl Selby. Seven. Matthew leads two games to one. Has won the third game. That's right. too good. Five three. 
just straight away from the wall. That'll be four all, won't it? Oh, I'm sorry. got the score yeah. wrong there, wrong. yeah. Good change there. Well done, James. Yeah, nice to see it. you're on the ball. Yeah, I'm on to it. Yeah, no. Well, we can hear the crowd really enjoying this all English affair, trying to get some sort of life back into Daryl Selby. They want to see more of this. And he's done it. Oh. Match to Matthew. Three games to one. Very good quality squash match between these two Englishmen. Very good friends oh, off 10, the court. 11, Huge 11, rivals 11, on it. 11, just as you'd expect. For me, you see it. 70 minutes of very, very good quality. I think Matthew overcomes Daryl Selby. Three games to one. 12 10, 11 3, 7 11, 11 6. 20 is for Nick Matthew, only none, nine unforced errors. And on the flip side, it was Daryl Selby, 21 winners. He had a fair, fair bit to say for himself there, but to find a few too many unforced errors, to be honest. The majority of them coming from the forehand side, but a very good battle between these two. Mm. Not up. Oh, that is a real turnaround. There you go. 6 2 to 11 6. That's very, very unusual. Well, Richards has got four game balls to take the second. A lot of cross-courting going on here, isn't there? Quite a contrast to the last match where they were playing down the wall very well. I mean, every shot in this rally has been a cross-court almost. They're going to play straight for 10 minutes now, aren't they? <laughs> well, it's a dugout cross-court. A bit of a funny bounce, but Richards, Richards will take that. Is ball Thanks not making Richards. it from Walker. Richards, very Still happy on. man to advance into the second round. 11 6, 11 6, 11 5. So 37 minutes of play. Richards winning it 3 love, taking that third game 11 5. They're going a bit flick happy here on the front. Yeah, that was relentless hitting from Rosner. Great reactions here from Coppinger. An indication of the speed of the hands of this six foot three South three African. Eight. Ball comes through the middle here. I think this is the one between the legs. Could have been very nasty. Brilliant. There's the reach of Rosner hovering across on that forehand side. It's his favoured side without a shadow of a doubt. Good response from the German number one. Perhaps as well with the tiredness that comes in a match like this, the players seek to take the ball up the front a little bit more. You've seen a lot of that now. They're really trying to move each other, but it's getting a bit frantic. Well, there was a pick up here from Rosner, looked very, very close. 
he's on a mission here. Watch how he covers the diagonal of the court. He's in the back left-hand corner. He's gone running up, full split. Just feeling he doesn't want to let it get too open so that it just becomes a game of retrievals and acrobatics. Well, this is what you said. It's certainly very good to watch. This is a joke. Absolute joke. I'd love to see the distance covered there by Simon Rosner. I don't think there was an inch that he didn't Sim move into. Let's force the error again. To Slight change of pace again there from Rosner, seven. squeezing Rosner another error from Coppinger. He's expecting the ball to come back a bit quicker there, the South African. bullet there, Simon Rosner, in the form of Stephen Coppinger. Fantastic game of squash. 10-12, Quality from start to finish. Well, it's the longest match of the tournament so far, 87 minutes of scintillating squash produced by these two, but it's the German that comes through, three games to one, 10-12, 11-4, 11-7, 12-10. Well, there you see, 87 minutes, the statistics from this fourth game. 23 outright winners. That is phenomenal, really, from Simon Rosner. 17 errors. A lot of errors in that fourth game. 16 from Stephen Coppinger. Highly entertaining game of squash, but 3-1 victory in favour of the German. He'll be very relieved to make his way through to the second round.